Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the Kinsta CDN. Now, if you're not familiar, a CDN is a content delivery network. And what that means is it's basically going to take all of your static files, your, your JavaScript files, CSS files, and your images, which are some of the biggest resources on your website, take those and distribute them to servers located around the world. So for example, when somebody in London visits your website, it's going to go out to the server, the data center in London that's closest to London and serve those static files to that user rather than going back to, let's say, New York where your actual website is hosted. So it definitely has the potential to speed up your website. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up the CDN with Kinsta. I'm going to talk a little bit about pricing and we're going to go behind the scenes and kind of show you under the hood how it works in the background. So if that's something you want to learn. Let's go ahead and hop on into the video. Okay, I'm here in my Kinsta dashboard and I have uh, one website hosted with Kinsta right now. It's called uh, swampview.com. And what we're gonna do first is enable the Kinsta CDN because right now I'm not using it. And if you read through this real quick, it'll uh, give you a brief overview of the CDN. But what we're gonna do right now is enable the Kinsta CDN. And it's just saying here that you don't want to use another CDN in combination with the Kinsta CDN so it doesn't break or anything like that. So we'll enable the CDN because I have nothing like that going on. And as you can see here, this process might take up to 15 minutes for all of your resources to get distributed to those servers around the world. So while that's going on, I want to just talk a little bit about how the CDN works behind the scenes. And what Kinsta did is they, they teamed up with a company called Key CDN and actually have them up here in another tab. Um, Key CDN, if you have a website other than at Kinsta, you can sign up and use their CDN, but um, that's all done behind the scenes for you. And what you're looking at here is a map of the world and all of the key CDN servers. So right now, what's happening in the background is all of my static files, images, CSS files, JavaScript files are being copied over to each one of these servers around the world. So as you can see, we have a whole bunch up here in North America, pretty evenly distributed throughout the US. A lot in Europe, I think it looks like the most locations in Europe, couple here in the Middle East, one down in South Africa, um, and then we have a lot along the east, southeast coast of Asia, a whole bunch in the South Pacific, and a few down here in South America. So I, I just wanted to show you that just so you know exactly what's happening and where um, these CDNs will most benefit the users that visit your website. Now, in addition to that, I also want to talk about the pricing for Kinsta CDN. So each plan with Kinsta gets a certain amount of CDN bandwidth each month. And a lot of people will overlook this, but it actually turns out that you get the most CDN bandwidth for your money with the Business One plan. The reason is because for some reason, Kinsta does not increase the amount of CDN bandwidth it provides for each pricing plan linearly. So it turns out that the plan which ends up having the cheapest cost per gigabyte of CDN bandwidth is the Business One plan. All right, guys, I'm back, and that, for me, took a little bit longer than 15 minutes, but the CDN has been enabled. As you can see here, we have the CDN domain name. A couple different options. We can clear the CDN if we want, or we can get rid of it altogether. But what I want to show you and what I did before enabling the CDN was load it, the home page, and with Chrome DevTools, I just uh, pulled up over here where each one of the resources on the page are being loaded from. So a lot of these... Um, style sheets, CSS files, JavaScript files are, or before enabling the CDN, were being loaded directly from swampview.com server, um, which let me show you real quick is in the Iowa data center. Um, but now that we have the CDN enabled, and if we refresh the page, we should see this uh, CDN domain name serve those resources and a different IP address. So take note of that. And in particular, we'll just pick one of these like style.css these are all being served from Swampview in this IP address. So let's refresh the page. Now that the CDN, CDN is enabled, uh, if we go back up here, we'll see that all of these style sheets and JavaScript files are being loaded from the um, CDN domain name. So uh, specifically style.css is now in IP uh, version six IP address instead of, you know, like 192.168, that type of thing. Um, and if we click, if we click on one of these, uh, we'll, we'll stick with the style.css example. And we look at the, the header, the response header for that individual resource. We will see that uh, the first time that we loaded this page, um, 
we see a cache miss. Okay, so in addition to the CDN uh, storing these static files, they're also going to cache them. So when we refresh this, we'll see a cache hit, but there's a couple other things I want to point out here. The edge location, it says USLA, that means United States Los Angeles. And if we go back to the um, locations of the key CDN servers, we'll see that there is a server for the CDN in Los Angeles. And my current location is in Tucson, Arizona, which is somewhere right around here. So that indeed is the closest server to my physical location. And that's going to be the quickest way to deliver those assets to me. So that's the CDN is smart enough to figure that all out. Um, what else do we have in here? We have um, obviously the key CDN engine uh, here and we're gzipping, which means we're compressing uh, a lot of these assets to make them smaller before sending them over the network. And that further even reduces the amount of time that's gonna take to send them across the network. So in particular, let's look at this cache um, response header. If we refresh the page now, um, instead of going to the server and dynamically generating that resource, it's going to uh, get it from its cache and we should see a cache hit now for this one. So style.css and yes, we do see a cache hit. So that means that um, the CDN is doing exactly what it's supposed to do and hopefully speeding up your website. Guys, I know this was a lot of information. Hopefully it made sense. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, definitely consider subscribing to my channel for more like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.